Welcome to another video, and in this video, I will be showing you how to level up fast in GTA 5 Online. The great thing about this RP method is there's actually no requirements in order to actually get started with it, but there are two things that I heavily recommend you guys get, or, you know, it's one or the other. First one is going to be the most expensive one, which is the Kajali Tank. This is a tank that you can actually purchase from the Warstock Cash and Carry site, for a price of $2,895,000. And once you do the full upgrades on it to get the max potential of this vehicle, it will probably put you around the $4 million spot. Now, if you don't have that much money, which is totally fine, it's not going to be as easy as this one that has a cannon that makes it easy to shoot enemies. What you can instead do is go over to the Southern San Andreas Super Auto's website and you can purchase the Armored Karuma for $525,000. Now, the only thing you can really do for this is just shoot guns out of the vehicle, but it makes it bulletproof and nobody can actually kill you in this vehicle unless you stand still too long, which then they can probably shoot through these windows. But that's probably the main goal is not to, you know, stand still for too long. But if you have that, you are ready to go. What you want to do from here is make your way into any GTA Online session. I recommend an invite only session as the loading times are much quicker and it's also going to be easier to do. Once you're done with that, you're ready to go. What you want to first do is make your way into a GTA Online session. An invite-only session is preferable as loading times are much quicker. What you want to do from here is go ahead and press Options and go to Online. You want to then go over to Jobs, go over to Play Jobs, go over to Rockstar Created. You want to then head over to Missions and keep going until you find the mission Repo RV nearly there. So this is going to be the mission right here. This is the image you'll be looking for. The reason why I chose this one is because it opens at rank 1 and you can do this completely by yourself. So from here, just go ahead and start the job. For the most amount of RP gain, we're going to actually set the difficulty to hard mode for 1.5 times RP and cash. You can purchase super heavy armor if you want to, but you're not really going to need it for this mission. From here, just confirm settings and then you want to launch the job. What will happen is you're actually going to spawn near it. What's going to happen now is you're going to spawn it beside it's Simeon's dealership. What you're going to be doing for this one is still in the brigade. Now, I wouldn't recommend you guys call in the Gajali tank as it's a very slow tank, but you can actually call in the armored crew because it kind of works just like a normal vehicle. But the tank is very slow, so I recommend you driving there first. And it's actually going to be on the other side of the map over here near Sandy Shores Airfield. Once you make it there, I recommend you guys actually exit the Kajali tank because if you do try to shoot them, they're going to blow up and cause like a domino effect and the brigade you don't want destroyed or it automatically end the mission. So let's go ahead and just get rid of these guys real quick. Once you eliminate all the enemies, what you want to do is quickly enter the brigade and then quickly exit. This just makes it to where actual NPCs will start spawning in vehicles and they're going to keep spawning until an eventually amount of time goes by when they stop. Now each time you destroy one of these vehicles, you get around 100 RP due to the fact that there's 4 people in the vehicle and they each give you around 25 RP. What you want to do for this is actually go ahead and make your way over to the Sandy Shores airfield and you want to line up at the end of it. This just makes it where everyone actually spawns in a straightaway and you can kill them much quicker and easier. Now that I arrived at the Sandy Shores airfield, we're now just going to go ahead and shoot these vehicles. Now the massive trucks like this are worth 62 RP while the bigger vehicles are worth around 100. So you just want to keep doing this over and over and they're getting really close. I need to go and get rid of them. There we go. Now we have a pretty good position of actually eliminating these guys. And you just want to keep doing this until you A. Eventually get bored or B. What happens is they actually stop giving you RP after a certain amount of time and which then you just want to reset the mission. So you can see here we've already eliminated so many vehicles. Well, oh wow they just despawned. Thankfully I got that in time. We've done so many vehicles now and they're still actually giving us RP which I'm very surprised about. I know here in a couple seconds they have to stop giving it to us. Okay it looks like I finally stopped getting RP for this which I did. There's two different ways you can go with this. You can either A, go into a new session and then start the job up again. But all I had to do, it because it's much quicker and I actually get to spawn right back to where I was beside the brigade, is you just want to let them kill you. 
Now, doing this also gave us an additional 1,203 RP and $3,000, which isn't too much, but now you just want to go ahead and do a quick restart. And just keep doing this back to back until you eventually get bored of this or until you get the RP level that you are wanting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. If you guys have any questions or comments about this video, please feel free to put it down in the comment section and I or someone else will try their best to answer it. So with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.